I'm Oliver Connelly from the University of Cologne in Germany, where I work as the director and chair of the Translational Research and Clinical Trials Center. And what I do clinically is the infectious disease consulting work at the University Hospital. We do have, together with the University and the University Hospital, a European Mycology Excellence Center by the ECMM designation. And today's program is on the European quality scores for infectious diseases. Guidelines have been issued for many diseases, and but there are always two questions remaining. And one is, are they really being followed? and people on guideline committees and working groups ask themselves. And the other one is, does adherence to a guideline improve patient outcome? To answer the one or the other question, or both, we need a tool to measure guideline adherence, and we don't have that. So now we created such a tool, um, that is a work that was done with the European Confederation of Medical Mycology, and we call them the European Quality Scores, Equal Scores. We issue them in many languages. The Equal Candidemia Score, that's the first one that we created. And it's split in three parts, diagnosis and treatment and follow-up. And let me quickly lead you through. Diagnosis and that Equal Candida Score, or strictly one could say Candidemia Score, we do have, of course, the initial blood cultures, and it should be 40 milliliters, so two sets with two bottles, that is. And that is an A1 recommendation in all the guidelines, regardless of whether it's North America or Europe or elsewhere. And for A1 recommendations, you earn, so to say, three score points. There's another A1 recommendation, and that is that you should do a species identification if you uh, get a isolate out of such a blood culture. And that is another A1, and that means it's another three points that it would earn you. Susceptibility testing is actually not recommended with an A1. It's somewhat um, weaker, and whether it's an A2 or a B1, either way would lead you to a score of two points for that one. And then echocardiography, ophthalmoscopy, I'm not going through all of these because now the principle I guess is clear. The next slide shows us the treatment part of that uh, score and that pocket card. Um, Echinocandin treatment uh, is an A1 recommendation. Then you see that it follows the chronology of the individual patient with a step down, for example, to fluconazole, but of course, depending on the susceptibility results, the treatment duration and how that is being measured. And then there is some interesting point here, and that is for central venous catheter carriers, because you know that you should pull the catheter in most situations of candidemia, but if the patient doesn't have a central venous catheter, there is nothing you can pull. So. Um, you cannot earn any points uh, in that respect then. I'll come back to that. And then for the follow-up, uh, the key information is that you should do follow-up blood cultures. You'll need that to determine the duration of treatment anyway. And that should be done as at least one blood culture, so one set that means, per day until they are negative. And that is worth two points, so to say. So as said, coming back to the central venous catheter um, carriers and those without, um, it has to do with the maximum achievable count of score points that you can earn in the equal candidemia score. And for those without a central venous line, that maximum is 19, because you cannot get these three additional points when you pull the catheter within 24 hours uh, that you can get in a central, venia, central venous catheter carrier, and that is then a total of 22 points. Sybil Mellinghoff, 
published the whole thing in my courses in 2018 and you might go back and refer to that article and read more detail on how exactly it's being done and how it was developed, that equal candidemia score. For now, I can say that we published these cards in various languages and 15, I guess, languages so far, but there are some more that we are still missing and we are working on these. And the whole thing now is a pocket-sized A6 card and you can download that card through the QR code that is on the screen. And I hope you will enjoy working with the card and hope that it might enable measuring the quality of treatment that your patients receive. Thank you very much for today. And I'd like to just briefly summarize on my last slide the conclusions and the outlook. So, how can we use the EQUAL scores, the European Quality of Management in Infectious Diseases scores? We can weigh and aggregate recommendations with these scores and they display what would be an ideal disease management. So the scorecards hopefully are a useful tool for measuring guideline adherence for antifungal stewardship and to facilitate clinical decision making because if this is a pocket card then you can always easily have a look and see what additional diagnostic or treatment steps should be taken next. The equal scores provide an easy to follow algorithm and they are there in different languages uh, and for the moment that is Albanian, English, French, German, Greek, Hungarian, Italian, Kurdish, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, South Croatian, Spanish and Turkish. But there are more translations to follow and if there are any languages that uh, you would want us to translate this to let us know. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.